OK, so in this example, question number five, they tell us that we have an equilateral triangle, meaning that each of every, all the measures of all the sides are equal in measure. That don't know if that made sense. But every side is equal in measure. Then they also said, find our remaining angles, which I didn't label this, but they gave us, I know, one angle, um, which was 60 degrees. Now, they said, you know, pretty much to find the rest of the measures. Now, one thing we need to remember, when we talked about an isosceles triangle, all right, when we talked about an isosceles triangle, I'll go back to this again. When we had an isosceles triangle, we knew that when we have opposite sides are equal measure, then their opposite angles are also an equal measure. Then the next type, this is all the same time we were playing pin the tail on the donkey, fun game. Now, what happens if I had all three angles equal in measure? Well, what we figured out was when we have all three angles are equal in measure, we know that these two have to be equal in measure. And then you can do that with all three of them. So guess what? All three angles are equal in measure, which we call an equiangular triangle. Right? Remember when all the sides are equal, we call it an equilateral. And then, AJ, when we have all the angles are equal, we call this an equilangular. So if that's 60 degrees, that means that has to be 60 degrees. Right? And I know my triangle doesn't look perfect. But if that's 60, that's 60, then we know that this has to be 60 degrees as well. OK? That's it. You have to know.